Have you ever lost track in a big graphic model when it takes ages to do simple things like selecting elements with some common properties, finding and cleaning up imported CAD files, or simply making sure elements are on the right work sets? Well, put all that behind you now, because RV Browser is here to give you back clarity and efficiency. It's likely similar to the project browser you always have in Revit, but the focus here is on showing you all elements in the model. This will let you quickly see the state and development progress of the model. It also allows quickly interrogating the model to help you get more done in less time. Let's see how it works. To begin, you can go to the link in the video description to get a fully functioning 14-day trial of this app. It will appear under the Add-ins tab under RV Boost and then RV Browser. If the app isn't running already, you can quickly go up here to open it. It's a non-blocking window sitting on top of your Revit model. Even when you have this app open, the model is fully responsive. You can still work on it as you normally do. And this report will update in real time when you make any number of changes in the model. This is perfect if you have a second monitor. This app can go on there. Otherwise, you can just dock it to the side like this and continue working with both the app and your Revit window. For now, let's bring it back into the center and see what we have here. What you're seeing now are all elements in your Revit model broken down by project, category, family, type, and then instances. It does this for model elements, annotation elements, and everything in between. For example, CAD files, if you have ever had to find them, you will know it's not easy to do manually in a big Revit model. With RV Browser, however, it's just a matter of going here, expanding this category there, decide if you want to see imported CAD or linked CAD files. Under CAD links, you have either view specific links or view independent ones. If you brought in the CAD file using the current view only option, they will come now under here. You can see them all listed here by name. If you want to find them quickly, just double click on the name now and we'll be taken straight to the view where they are visible. RV Browser will also select the item for you and make sure that it's zoomed in nice and clear on the screen. If I now turn on the Properties window, you can see clearly that's the same file there. The same goes for this one below if I go to Pile Detail. It's here in this view along with its other four copies. You can also add to the selection. Maybe I want to select all those copies. And let's say I want to delete them. That's easy to do. Just press Delete or click on this button there. Now they are gone and this report has updated instantly to show now there's only one item here. You can of course do this to all element categories. If I now go a bit down to rooms, I can see there are 91 rooms here. All of them are placed. If some are unplaced, they will be put under another branch here under rooms. We can now check out 33 rooms on the second floor. And let's say I want to see this corridor. I can now double click on this. And here it is. Now, let's say I want to modify its properties. Because it's already selected, I can be free to do it here as I want. If I want to apply the same change to all corridor rooms on this level, I can just select them from the tree like this. Now we have two selected, and both can be changed. Back to RV Browser. You can also use this app to manage your views, if I now scroll a bit down. And maybe let's collapse everything on this tree to make it readable again. I can now click on Collapse All to do that. Now scroll down to Views. I can see now there are 42 views in this file. Six of them are on Sheets. Let's see those that are not on Sheets. I can now open any of those views. Maybe I can see the second floor now. That will open this view for me. And because we selected the two corridor rooms from before, I can see them now highlighted nicely for me. So far so good, but RV Browser doesn't stop there. It can also show which elements are visible in your current view. Simply go up here to the Filters group under Scope. I can change from seeing the entire model to only the current view. And now I can clearly see, out of over 8,000 items in this file, this view only shows 1,000 of them. If I want to select all rooms in this view, I can simply do that from here. Super easy. How about doors? I can get them all like this as well. 
And the great thing is, this list of items in this view will update even when you hide or show different elements in the view. Let me show you what that means. If I now select this grid line and then hide grid lines by category. In the tree now, there are 22 grids visible for this view. But if I go ahead and hide them like this, you can see grids are no longer there. You can also hide things by selection. If I want to hide these elements there, the tree will also update. Now when I go to undo, it's going to come back to the previous state again. That's great, but what if I want to see only the elements that I selected in this view? Let's see if I do the same selection again. I can now change the scope from view to selection. And now I can see out of a thousand items in this view now, I have only selected 77 items. I can also now clear my selection. And let's say we want to include a roof in this list. I can see roof is not on there now at the moment, but if I go now and select this one here, it is now here. Edit and highlight it for me. If you want to start over, simply change it back to model and then back to selection. And here you can start adding to the selection list very easily. Just like that. Coming back to the entire model scope. Let's say we are only interested now on model elements. I can now go here to type and select model. There are now 7,600 items of this category. And if I switch to annotation, the number comes down. Anyway, what's even more powerful is that you can use custom filters here to further refine your selection of items. Let's say we want to see all items under the face named existing. At the moment, there's none. But if I now zoom into here, select this wall there, and change this created face to existing. You can see now we see there are two items now under that face. When I expand this, that's the wall I just mentioned. We have two now because there are other walls joined to that wall. And when you change the face of one wall, that may trickle changes to other walls connected to it in some way. RV Browser clearly shows that and that can help you with changing your model in a safe and meaningful way. Anyway, it's a bit lonely here with only two items. Let's go back here and see all elements under new construction. What if I only want to see those from a particular level? We can now go to the second filter here and maybe select level two. That's a more refined set of items now. If I want to select everything here, I can do so and it'll be highlighted for me. Taking it further, I can also filter this list by design options. If I open my options list now, we have two sets, each with two options below them. So if I go to options now, that are listed here for me, let's say I want to see entrance option two. Nothing comes back because those elements, maybe they fail one of the other two filters being active. I can simply go here to clear filters. That will reset everything there and this time go back to options and choose entrance option one. You can see there, there are many items under this. And if I go to option two, I have now the other set of design elements. If your model is a worksheet file, we can also do filtering on worksheeting properties like workset, created by and edited by. Let me show you what that means. If I now clear filters again, I can now see only items on the shared levels and grid worksets. As you can see, there are only grids and levels here. But if I want to maybe put this there to this workset, you can see now as a BIM manager, I can quickly see the problem that this element should be here on this workset. I can then select it from the tree and change the properties back to workset number one. And then it's gone. This is a very efficient way to audit work sets in your model to make sure they only contains the right element. If I want to see more items here, I can change to work set one and that's everything else. Similarly, we can use RV browser to see all items created or edited by a particular user in your team. Let's say I want to see everything created by Suyu. I can see now that she created quite a lot of items. But if I go to edit it by and then choose Suyu again, 
I can see out of those 7,000, she only recently edited about 1,700 of them. This is very beneficial if you want to find out if a particular item like this slab edge here, who created it, who last changed it, so you can ask relevant questions to the same person. Maybe you want to delete this slab edge. That's when you need to go to Suju and see if she's okay with that decision. Also, this list of filters is tailored to your project model. If I go to another one, maybe we can go to this example file here. The same one you've seen millions of times before. As you can see, it has no design options and no work sets. If I go and launch RV browser on this model now, you can see the list of browser is much shorter because only relevant ones are presented to you. Here you can see the final options in this filters group is view filter. When you expand this, these are all the custom view filters you already have created in your Revit model. If you go to view, view filters, they are the same ones here. So let's say you have created a very complex filter with lots of rules and you want to reuse it here to see elements passing that filter, super easy to do. Just go to here and choose your filter by name. I can see now interior filter only gives 42 items back, whereas learning content has nothing. It means you can have as complex as a filter you like and use it here to interact with all elements passing that filter. Another way you may want to filter your items is by using keywords. If I now reset the filters, let's say I want to find anything with the word window in it, simply type it here and enter. We can see we have windows tags and windows. How about doors? Let's say door, press enter. And we have door tags, obviously, doors, even text notes. This text note here is type name and family name doesn't have the keyword, but because its content has the word door in it, it's returned back with the other elements. One more time, let's see if we can find tags. We can have now planting tags, door tags, property line tags, and room tag as well. When I'm done checking them, I can go back here, delete the whole thing, and press enter. That will give me back my entire list from before. Now, a few other things to help you better leverage the power of RV Browser. If you want to select everything in this tree, just click on here, select all. Or if you want to clear them, select none. Sometimes there are changes in the model that are not captured by RV Browser. And that was done on purpose because some changes in Revit can take a long time to complete. And we don't want you to wait ages for that to be done and then also this report to be updated. If there are changes that have taken place and you haven't seen the result here, simply go here, click on refresh all and it will scan the entire model again for you to make sure you get the latest list of items and filters. Also on the biggest models, close to one or two gigabytes, if you see this list constantly updating and slowing down your workflow, simply go up here and uncheck this full live update box. That way only very quick changes will be reflected here. And the rest you can still see them when you do refresh all. And that's how you can make the most of this plugin to speed up your Revit workflow. If you want to try this app for free, simply go down to the video description and use the link provided there. For any questions, suggestions for new features, or even problems you have when running this plugin, comment down below and we'll reply to you as quickly as possible. For now, make sure to get RV Browser so you can do BIM with more power.